I'm James Stellan. We're here at Universal Hyundai. Today's car review is on the 2019 Tucson. This is the sport trim level. We have two different videos up. One is on the SC, which is our entry level. One is on the limited, which is one of the highest trim levels. And then this is the sport, so it's kind of in the middle. Um, it's actually the fourth trim level out of six of them. So what you're gonna be getting with the sport, you're gonna notice the rim differences between both of the other videos we have. The Limited, you have 18 inch rims. The SC, you have the 17 inch rims. You actually have 19 inch rims on the Tucson. You have the mesh grill. You have LED uh, headlight, LED daytime running light up here. And you have the LED, LED daytime running light here. So it looks really good at night when both, both of these LEDs are mashed up with the top and the bottom. And look at the five cubes that are here for your headlight, which is a really nice design with another little daytime running light there, and you got your fog lights here. So it's a very nice design. They refreshed the front fascia of it. They refreshed the back end, and they changed the, the interior design a little bit as well, and the seating. Let me pop open the hood. It's a 2.4 liter, four cylinder engine um, that produces up to 181 horsepower. Now the first two trim levels, you're gonna get a little bit smaller of an engine. It's a 2.0 liter that produces up to 161. This one, if you like a little bit more power and wanna have something a little bit more aggressive, definitely get the 2.4 then. Um, you'll lose just a little bit of gas. It's not that much, about one mile per gallon. You're still gonna get 25 miles per gallon, city and highway combined. You have a six speed transmission, which is really good. It's not um, CVT or continuous variable transmission which I feel like it just lags a little bit in the earlier gears. Um, this is a very good um, transmission and a very good engine. It's GDI, that stands for Gas Direct Injection. And basically that's a technology that sits close in your cylinder, so it gives you a direct spray of your gasoline to your engine. So you're really not wasting any gasoline and you're gonna have a better response as well. It sits on a liquid-filled motor mount, which is gonna absorb the vibration of the engine. So as you can see, the engine's vibrating, but everything here is gonna be very quiet, okay? And if I were to move the car back and forth, you can kind of see the engine moving back and forth as well. God forbid you got into a serious accident, this engine's designed to drop. So it's gonna hit the ground and get out of the way, so it's not flying through the cabin, okay? You have a steel chain in your engine as well, so you no longer have belts like the older cars. <coughs> the chain is good because it's gonna save you on maintenance. The belt you usually have to change every 60 to 80,000 miles. It's gonna cost over $1,000 out of your pocket. The steel chain is gonna outlast the life of the engine. The Tucson actually won an award for Kelly Blue Book I mentioned on the other videos for the lowest cost of maintenance over a five year period. So over a five year span, you're gonna be spending less money than our competitors. Um, you also have um, nice little conveniences like the air filter you can change yourself. In some other cars, it makes it a little bit more difficult. This you can pop out really easy and change yourself. Battery chip on your battery, so it'll turn your light off for you if you left your light on on accident. You have your fuse box here, your computer is in easy access, which is gonna save you more money for your labor. Spark plugs, you don't have to change for 97 to 100,000 miles. You have your ABS brakes in the back, but just check out all the installation here, okay? When you're shopping around, the quality of the installation throughout the engine is great. Um, even how strong and sturdy this part is here with the, insta with the, um, the rubber gripping here, the installation that kind of seals it all together so it quiets the sound of the engine. And you have all these um, color coordinated fluids like your coolant fluid, your, your washer fluid, and obviously your engine oil here, okay? Now, a lot of people don't know, but I mentioned in all my videos that Honda is its own steel manufacturer own steel manufacturer, I'm going to always reiterate that because they have an advantage in the market. They produce their own steel. They're the only car company that does that. And I've mentioned all, always they sell their steel to Mercedes, GM, and they build transmissions for Porsche. They have a lot of um, technicians and, and from very expensive companies. Like we have a guy that used to work on the BMW 3 Series who, who's working on our Veloster N, worked on the sports suspension for our Sonata. So keep that in mind. You have a lot of high quality designers and engineers working on these cars and the steel is the best quality in the market. It's high, high strength steel. And um, like I mentioned on the Sport, you're gonna have the 19 inch rims. So on the SC, you'll be 17 inch. On the 
um, excuse me, the limited and the ultimate package. You have the 18 inch rims, which look nice too, but the sport's gonna give you your signature 19 inch rims compared to the other sport 18 Tucson. Okay, so you're gonna have your blind spot detection. Pretty much um, on the limited video, um, you, you saw some of these features too, like the blind spot detection, the rear cross traffic alert, like when you're reversing, it's gonna detect cars that are flying by. What you lose on the sport is the leather, but if you don't care for leather, Pretty much the sport's going to have a lot of things the Limited has. Like you have your power seat, you have infinity speakers, 315 watts uh, of watts, and you have eight speakers in, in the car. You have a wireless charging pad for your smartphone. You have a uh, lane keep assist. You have, a, um, like I mentioned already, blind spot detection, automatic emergency braking, or automatic avoidance assistance. You have driver attention warning, which monitors your driving. It will beep at you if you take your hands off the steering wheel, if your driving dynamics are off. If you're taking a long drive, it will pop up a coffee symbol saying, hey, you might need a break. You have an auto hold, so you almost have everything that's in the limited, but what you won't have is, you won't have a 360 camera. So when you're reversing, you do have a nice seven inch HD quality backup camera, but it's not a 360. Um, and you won't have uh, the leather like I mentioned, but you still have the automatic lift gate. You have the same space in the back, obviously with the cup holders, you have about eight different cup holders. You got your air vents in the back. You still have a USB port. Um, you can get it with the gray interior, the beige interior or the black. I like the black. Um, the interior has changed a little bit, the design from the 18 model. So keep that in mind as well. And you have what you call Yes Essentials in the material. Yes Essentials helps it from basically staining, uh, repels the odor, so it's very good quality. And, and it's almost like Scotch Guard to a certain degree to where it won't let the water or liquid seep in right away. You could kind of wipe it off. You have your LED taillights. You have your smart lift gate. I haven't set it up and the car is on, so it won't work when the car is on. But if you, if you turn your car off and you lock it, once you stand behind the trunk, it will pop open for you as long as you have your key in the pocket. Um, I'm gonna pop it open regularly, but you have the power lift gate. You have your dual quad exhaust, which comes equipped on the 2.4 liter. You have a single exhaust on the 2.0, a 60-40 split so you can split both seats down. Let me split it down for you so you can check it out. Split both sides down, which is pretty much completely flat. You can even create a little bit more space if you pull this out. You could kind of slide it underneath a little bit more to create another three inches if you like. And you got your weather mat here, your grocery net here. We are, our dealership gives you the first aid kit and a couple other things like mud guards and things like that. You can adjust this if you like, if you're a little bit shorter, you just hold it, it adjusts. Um, I'm gonna close it right now. If you put your hand here, don't worry, it's gonna pop back open. Now, if you circle around, you, got, you can see you got the, um, the wrap around tail lights, which is for your safety. If cars are seeing you fly by, um, they're gonna see you at all different types of corners with your lighting on the, on the side. Um, they, they changed the, the tail lights. As you can see, they had a the little striping indication there. Now, let's take this thing for a test drive so we can see how it feels. I'll go over some of the other safety features inside. Make sure you have us subscribed at the bottom of the page and uh, check out our next video.